Today, I'm going to teach you how to create this spiral earring. The inspiration for this creation comes from the combination of different geometrical shapes like a spiral, discs, and spheres. To do the spiral earring, we are going to use the arc tool, the pipe tool, the circle tool, and the sphere tool. The first thing we need to do is create the sketch of the spiral. We are going to do it using multiple times the circle tool. We create first an horizontal line of 4 mm with one vertex on the origin. Then we choose the center point arc tool in the sketch section of the top menu and we create an arc with center in the origin and as radius the same dimension of the line we created before. Now we repeat this operation and create another arc with the center in the other vertex and as radius the diameter of the previous arc. Repeating these operations and using alternatively as centers the two vertex of the line and as radius the radius of the previous arc, we will obtain our spiral sketch. Using the pipe tool you find under the create section of the top menu now, we can add some volume. The pipe tool is a very useful tool because it allows us to create a solid body that follows a select path. Our path is the spiral. We set the section size as 1 mm in diameter and choose the circular section. And our spiral is done. We create another spiral, repeating the same operation we just did, with the only difference that this time the spiral sketch will be a little bit shorter. In this way, we divide the section in two parts and we will add some decorations only on the second one. We use again the pipe tool, but this time we set the section size at 2 mm and make sure to set the operation to join. Now we need to fill the thicker part with some decorations. I decide to use the sphere body as decorations for this kind of earring. First we create a base for the sphere. To do it, we create a circle on the top surface, using the circle tool you find in the sketch section of the top menu. We draw a circle of 4 mm in diameter. Make sure that your sketch merges the extruded body to be sure to obtain a single body. In case you need, move the circle in a better position. When satisfied of the results, select the extrusion tool in the create section of the top menu and add some thickness. Make sure to set the direction as two sides, the distance on each side at 0.9 mm and the operation to join. Using the fillet tool now, we make the edges less sharp. Select the fillet tool in the modify section of the top menu. Choose all the edges you want to be rounded and set the radius of the fillet at 0.5 mm. Now we repeat the disc shape all around our spiral path using the Pattern on Path tool you find in the Create section of the top menu. As object, we select the disk and also the fillet. To select them properly, keep in mind that you can use the timeline in the bottom part of your screen. This timeline records the history of all your steps while 3D modeling, so in every moment you can go back and edit your steps. As path, we select the second spiral sketch we created. We select it this time in our left menu, under the label Sketches. We set as distance type Extend, as distance 155, that is more or less the length of the spiral. As quantity, I set 35, because I want to fill the spiral, but you can play with this value. And to make the discs match perfectly with the path, we select as orientation Path Direction. We increase the complexity of the decoration, adding more details. Using the same technique we use for the discs, we create now some spheres. We create the first one sphere using the sphere body you find in the create section of the top menu. We create it on the top plane. We make the sphere concentric with the disc and we set the diameter at 3 mm. Make sure to set the operation to join. Now, using the Pattern on Path tool again, we repeat the spheres along the spiral path, keeping the settings we used before. And our earring is done.
we add a couple of fillets to make the shape smoother. We select the fillet tool in the modify section of the top menu and we select the beginning and the end of the spiral as edges and set the fillet as 0.5 mm in radius. And now our spiral earring is ready. We save the project in Autodesk Fusion 360 Cloud as a spiral earring. Once saved, the name will appear on the top part of the left menu on your screen. Select the name and right click or hold down Ctrl click on Mac to open the menu and select Save as STL. Now that you know how to use these skills, try on your own to create something different and check out our page kirakira.com to get inspired and see other awesome designs.